Hey, my good friend, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. The popular and sporty Hyundai Santa Cruz compact crossover pickup has just gotten its first refresh and it made its debut just this week at the New York Auto Show. Hyundai tapped the New York Auto Show as the stage to unveil their updated 2025 Santa Cruz compact crossover pickup truck with a fresh and more rugged look, a redesigned interior, more features, and a more rugged variation of their XRT trim. For 2025, the most obvious change starts with a new face that has been redesigned to be decidedly more truck-like. Bolder forms and details along with the new lower skid plate design theme really do update the look and give it a bit more brawn. Remaining though is its core trademark style with hidden daytime running lights that have made it so distinctive so far and honestly more premium looking than its chief rival, the Ford Maverick. Other design changes include new wheel designs across the lineup and some new colors to boot. If I have any critique though of the redesign, it's their continued use of bright shiny chrome plastic at the lower bumper fascia that I just don't think is gonna look all that good after a few years of rock chips, bugs, and sand pitting. The XRT trim grade that arrived in 2024 gets even more rugged and exclusive in its trim treatments with its own grille and bumper design with increased approach angle. It also sports bright red tow hooks. A new 18-inch wheel design comes mounted with two 45-60 R18 all-terrain tires as well. The interior also gets a significant shakeup with an all-new dash design that brings a panoramic curve cockpit display that can be optioned to include dual 12.3-inch screens one for the instrument cluster and one for the infotainment system. A host of updates and features come to the available infotainment systems too. New switchgear controls at the center stack and slightly redesigned console are along as well as a redesigned three-spoke steering wheel. The dash itself is a bit of a corporate design, nearly identical to those showing up in other contemporary Hyundai models, but it comes with a handy shelf above the glove box now. Neat! Those are the big things. Little things worth mentioning are that wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are now standard on all trim grades, and they finally added a fold-down armrest with cup holders at the rear seat. Not really changed that much are what powers the Santa Cruz. Carried over is the standard 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine with 191 horsepower and its eight-speed automatic transmission. Optional is a 2.5-liter turbo with 281 horsepower and a healthy 311 pound-feet of torque. Their turbo still comes with the 8-speed wet dual-clutch automatic transmission, or DCT, which has been somewhat problematic for some owners who tow, but Hyundai has added a new tow mode for the transmission that should help it function a little bit better under heavy loads. Those tow ratings, by the way, are 3,500 pounds for the standard powertrain and 5,000 pounds for the turbocharged engine with all-wheel drive. Both engines are available with front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. Now, the 2025 Hyundai Santa Cruz will be along later this year with pricing and final package specifications to come along closer to that time. Well, there you have it, my friends, the refreshed 2025 Hyundai Santa Cruz. Now, I like the fact that it is a bit more truck-like up front, something that buyers were probably clinicked and asked about. The thing I am surprised about here is the fact that they didn't, they haven't offered a hybrid yet. And I only say that because we cover the Ford Maverick, its chief rival in the marketplace quite a bit. And Ford does offer a hybrid in the Maverick. And all of the data that we've seen over the past few years shows us that almost two thirds of the buyers for the Ford Maverick are after that hybrid. They don't get it because Ford won't build that many, but when it comes to ordering, that's, that's the mix. And so it just surprises me that Hyundai, they have a hybrid powertrain that will fit in this vehicle on the shelf. They build it in the Tucson, even a plug-in. So doing it would be just a matter of making it work. They haven't chosen to do it for whatever reason. Um, I just think that could increase sales. Why not? So um, maybe someday they will. But until then, in the meantime, I certainly hope to take a test drive in the new 2025, the XRT trim grade. I haven't yet tested that. We'd love to take it out into the desert and play with it a little bit. Hyundai, if you're listening. Until that time, you can see our latest video right there. Better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And you can do that right there. Either way, stay tuned.